Welcome Park Kids, it's Miss Jessica here. Thank you so much. I am so thankful that you are joining us for our last month of the year. Can you believe it's December? And of course, our life app for this month is Christmas, celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift to us. Christmas can be filled with all sorts of emotions. Some people easily experience the joy of the season. Some rest in the hope that God is making all things new but others struggle to find peace during life circumstances. With all that's going on this time of year, we thought it'd be great to go back to the basics and simply celebrate Christmas. I hope you enjoy today's lesson and I'll see you at the end. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? If you're like me, that just might be the best line from one of your very favorite Christmas specials ever. It really is a great question. It's not the advertisements and holiday displays and decorations. So what is Christmas all about? Maybe it's getting a lot of gifts or nailing your performance in the Christmas production. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Raising your Christmas cookie game. Watching every single holiday movie release. There's nothing wrong with any of that, but they're not what Christmas is all about. Lights, please. Christmas is about a tiny, helpless baby born to unknown parents in a small town on the edges of the Roman Empire. Christmas is about the ordinary, everyday people who got a first look at God's master plan. Christmas is about the way God loves us with a love so wild and deep that he sent his very own son to live on earth among us. When you choose to focus on what Christmas really means, others can see God at work in you. That's why celebrating Christmas is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let her receive her King.
Keep them bells ringing. First day of Christmas, nobody gave to me a peppermint candy. Mm. Let's see what else is in this thing. <clears throat> All right. Ooh. Oh, you can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Oh, yes, I can. Mmm. Mmm. Tasty. Okay. What else? Oh, cool. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Can't eat you. Hmm. <laughs> oh, what's that? <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, apple cider. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hmm. Ah! I'm sorry, I, I didn't know anyone was in there. And now for the most important day of all. I wonder what's inside. Oh! Hey Brandon! Merry Christmas! Brandon, I know you're still out there. Brandon? Welcome to the So and So Show and Merry Christmas. I'm Brandon. I'm John, and we're glad you're hanging out with us as we kick off this festive holiday season. Question for you, John. Hit me. Okay. Thank you. Now go ahead and ask me the question. Okay, what does your family do to kick off the holiday season? Uh, we eat rotten fish. What? Yeah, it's called lutefisk. It's kind of a nasty fish jelly. Yeah, why? I don't know. <laughs> We've just always done it. Yeah, when your nose hairs start burning with the stink of rotting fish, you know it's Christmas time with that tasty dish. My family watches Christmas movies. Oh, we do that too. It's a Wonderful Life is the perfect movie to start out with. The holidays haven't begun until Clarence gets his wings. Ah, wife. spoiler alert. Hey, you've never seen It's a Wonderful Life? It's on my list. Oh. What, what do you want, John? What, what do you want? You, 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 you want the moon? You, you, you just say the word and, and I'll throw a lasso around it and, and, and pull it down. <laughs> of course, you'd pick a Christmas movie from the 1900s. It's a classic. It's uh -huh. one of the best movies of the... Okay, Shh. fine. And you know what? What Christmas movie would you start with? Ah! The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. Fa la 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 okay. okay, Elf is fine, but it's really more of a kid's movie. What? It is. It, I mean, if you knew real Christmas movies like oh, I do... Oh, 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 you I know to... Christmas movies. More than you, I bet. Oh, well, well, we'll see about that. It's time to play Name That Christmas Movie. Bah, humbug. 
that's easy. The Muppet Christmas Carol. <laughs> or any version of A Christmas Carol. <sighs> Anybody want to play a reindeer game? Like Monopoly? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Not a movie, it was TV. A TV movie? I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. I don't know, something old. White Christmas. Or if you want to get technical, the song originated in the 1942 film Holiday Inn. Also, uh -huh. with Bing Crosby. You look like a deranged Easter Bunny. Christmas story. I'm a prince, but I don't want anyone to know because my evil twin brother who works as a chef at the North Pole might hop on the Christmas train to stop me from finding my true love if she even has time for love while balancing her successful newspaper column in New York City and an architecture firm in Los Angeles. <gasps> I only have one and a half hours to meet the girl, fall in love, save the world, and discover the true meaning of Christmas. I have no idea. Really? It's so simple. It's every Hallmark Christmas movie ever. <laughs> it's Bible story time with Kellen. guys oh we're just discussing christmas movies i love christmas movies jingle all the way is the best i'll know if you move because i have the ears of a snake classic i agree hey so what you got for us today well today we're setting up the entire christmas story it's like a preview of what's to come did you say preview kellen I did. Like a movie preview? Well, we've got your back, Kellen. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Around 700 years before Jesus was born, there was a prophet named Isaiah. Now, a prophet was a person God chose to be his messenger, and they were often given a glimpse of what the future would be like. Here's what Isaiah wrote. A child will be born to us. A son will be given to us. He will rule over us, and he will be called Wonderful Advisor and Mighty God. He will also be called Father Who Lives Forever and Prince Who Brings Peace. The child Isaiah wrote about was... Wait, Kellen, no, no, no spoilers. We've, we've got a preview. Something like this, Kellen? Over 2,000 years ago, in the city of Nazareth, a young girl named Mary was visited by an angel. But do not be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. You're going to get pregnant and have a son. You must call him Jesus, and he will be called the Son of the Most High God, and his kingdom will last forever. Mary may have been frightened, but God had a plan. What God says, he will always do. Okay, good, now I can tell you. When Isaiah wrote about the son God was giving us, he was really writing about Jesus. Think about how incredible that is. 700 years before Jesus came, God promised that he would come. Continue. After an emperor's decree and a long journey, Mary and the man she would marry, Joseph, found themselves in the city of Bethlehem. But no one expected what happened next. With no rooms available, Mary gave birth to her baby in a place fit for animals. The baby boy was wrapped in cloths and laid in a manger. Jesus is the Son of God. Isaiah wrote that he would be a ruler, a mighty God, a father, a prince. No one expected the Savior to be born with animals. But God has always done things that are unexpected. You're right about that, Kellen. Thank you. Because God had more surprises in store. God sent an angel to lowly shepherds keeping watch over their sheep. 
I bring you good news. It will bring great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. So buckle your seatbelts because ready or not, here comes Christmas. Wow, way to go guys. Thank you. Doesn't that get you excited about Christmas? For sure. Just think of what Isaiah's words meant for those people years ago. They'd been hoping for a savior, so God made them a promise that he would send one. And it was Jesus. Yep, God always keeps his promises. So there's always a reason to have hope. That's a great way to look at it. Thanks. Now, thank you guys for those previews. I'm thinking of watching some Christmas movies right now. Jingle all the way, here I come. Put that cookie down. No. What was that? As I'm from Jingle All The Way. That was... uh, yeah. Reveal the question. What are you hoping for? What are you hoping for this Christmas, John? Uh, maybe a little more peace and understanding. Ooh, good start. More calm and civil debates and discussions. That would be nice. And then some new headphones. All right. <laughs> we'll see you next week for more Christmas. I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And that was the So-and-So Show. It was. Welcome back, friends. Are you filled with the joy of Christmas? Are you loving this season? I have a special challenge for you. I know things are a little crazy right now, but you can still spread cheer to your family, to your neighbors, and to your friends. I'm challenging you to make one card today or make one phone call to someone to celebrate Christmas. Give them the joy of Jesus' birth. And I hope to see you next Sunday on Park Kids Online. Bye, friends.